Top six flashers, really quickly. Maddy, STS, Bon Chovi, uh, T10, Lemon Lime Chartreuse Blade, and Lemon Lime UV Blade. My top six spoons, No Bananas, uh, Bon Chovi, uh, Cop Car in Silver Horde, Cookies and Cream, Irish Cream, and Coho Killer in Green Glow. Six matchups, you can mix and match and, and uh, see what happens, test them out, experiment. Leader length, four to six feet, uh, and I've shown you how to tie them up. The last thing I want to talk about, uh, a couple really quick things, is scent. And don't be afraid to get some scent and run it up the back of your spoon and you can also put uh, some scent on your flashers. Definitely something to think about. An uh, anchovy scent, probably the best. And uh, time. It's tough to say. Um, every year it's a little different, but if you're going to fish off the West Vancouver shoreline for you guys with smaller craft, you probably want to go mid-December to late January in that time frame is a good time to go and give it a shot. Uh, you can fish from the mouth of the Capilano all the way up to the Pink Apartments. I'm sure everybody's heard that name before. There's a 100 foot column of water in there where you fish just off bottom, get your ge uh, gear rate down so that your cannonball is bouncing off bottom and fish just off bottom. Um, and then um, you can fish in House Sound. To the back side of Bowen Island, uh, look for the boats. Chances are you're going to find some fish. Uh, Tungstall Bay, uh, anywhere in that corridor between um, if you launch at Sunset Marina, you cross House Sound and you go in behind Bowen Island, there's lots of areas in there to fish. Um, there's some other areas in towards the south. You can take a look at the coal ports, um, but for guys that are just getting out and want to give it a shot, give a, give a, uh, a crack at it a couple times this year, you want to have some success, take these products Go try off the West Vancouver shoreline to start and you probably have some success.